Welcome back, LHS. I'm Abby Gibson. And I'm Eli Hodge. Today is Wednesday, October 27th. We have club information, sports updates, and more. This, this is, is your Blue Devil, Devil News. News. We are having an increasing number of students saying their parking spot was taken, so they moved to the one next to them or across from them, which is creating a gigantic ripple effect. Be sure to park in your spot and your spot only with your parking pass displayed. If you don't have a parking pass, fill out the form and buy one at the bank during lunch. Seniors, your senior fee is $75 and is due by March 1st. You can pay at the bank or online. The deadline to apply for the Tennessee Promise Scholarship is next Monday and the FAFSA is now open. All college-bound seniors need to do this in order to receive any scholarship money, including Tennessee Promise and Hope. Go to studentaid.gov. Sophomores and juniors, applications for Governor's School are now available. This is an excellent summer opportunity for high-achieving students in academics and the arts. Information and applications are found at tn.gov. Students, pick up your IDs during lunch in the back of the cafeteria. Student Council's Buddy Week comes to an end tomorrow at tomorrow's meeting. Please make sure you are there to meet your buddy and eat pizza. GSA is selling buttons again. See Ms. Robertson in B213 to browse what buttons we have this year. The cafe is back open for breakfast this week, and the annual canned food drive will be November 1st through the 12th. The Spanish Club will meet after school tomorrow in Ms. Davis' room B308. The FFA fruit sale has begun. If you have an agriculture class this semester or in the spring, be sure to stop by the Ag Department to pick up a packet. Teachers interested in ordering fruit or cheesecake can order from the FFA member or by using the brochure in the mailroom. The order deadline is November 12th. National Honor Society induction ceremony will be after school on November 1st. We'll be inducting new members from this year and last. Also, members need to turn in their $20 fees by tomorrow to Ms. Carella. We'll be right back after these messages. back to Wellness Wednesdays with Mr. Sean and this week is Red Ribbon Week. Today we will be talking about substance abuse and some of the problems that can be associated with it. Substance abuse affects teens mentally and physically. For instance, it may interfere with brain development by interfering with neurotransmitters and damaging connections within the brain. Reducing the ability to experience pleasure, creating problems with memory, causing missed opportunities during a period of heightened learning potential. Substance abuse could also result in criminal records that cannot be expunged, car accidents, assaults, poor decision making, wasted academ academic opportunities, delayed or deferred career opportunities, and damaged relationship with friends and family. Growing up I was definitely hard on people that I saw that were getting into stuff that I didn't believe in, like drugs. I definitely would see friends do stuff and tell them like, hey, you probably shouldn't do that in you know, they're like, oh, why aren't you cool or whatever, and why wouldn't you do it with me? And I'm like, this isn't a good idea. And inevitably, I think it caused some damage psychologically, emotionally to his family, their career path. And that's kind of heavy. I always wanted to avoid it like the plague because I never wanted to risk the chance of becoming what I've always dreamt of. In my high school years, I was actually doing online, so I was traveling a lot, but I was still very exposed to the possibility of doing drugs or being under a bad influence from peers, just because I was traveling the world and competing with much older people, and I would never let you know peer pressure overwhelm me because I had a goal in my mind, and I would just rely on what I learned from my parents growing up. If you have trouble with substance abuse, you can contact me or come see me in room 500A, or you can see your SROs or any person here at the school. That's all for today, and I'll see you next week on Wellness Wednesday.
What is Tennessee Promise? It's a last dollar scholarship mentoring program administered by TSAC in partnership with Tennessee Achieves and the Ayers Foundation. Tennessee Promise allows students pursuing an associate's degree, certificate, or diploma to attend tuition free at one of the 27 Tennessee Colleges of Applied Technology or one of the 13 community colleges. To become eligible, a high school senior must complete the Tennessee Promise application by November 2nd, submit the 21-22 FAFSA by February 1st, attend a meeting in the spring, complete eight hours of community service by July 1st, and finally, enroll at a TCAT or community college the fall semester immediately following graduation. Tennessee Promise will cover the cost of tuition at a TCAT or community college not covered by other financial aid. For example, if tuition is $2,000 this fall and a student only receives $1,000 from other financial aid, then Tennessee Promise will cover the remaining $1,000 through a last dollar scholarship. If you have any questions, please contact your outreach specialist for more information. Winter Guard information and tryouts will be Friday from 3.45 to 5.45 in the band room. If you would like more information, see Mr. Chanel or Mr. Amos. The band is selling butt cakes from Nothing Butt Cakes. You can grab your favorite flavored buttlet for only $5 or grab one of each flavor and try them all. They have various flavors and the last day to order is November 4th. You can either find a marching band student to order or send Mr. Chanel an email with your order. Checks can be made out to the Lebanon Band. Delivery is November 18th the Thursday before Thanksgiving break. Place your order now for the latest LHS Cambo shirt sold by our student council. They are $15 and sold at the bank until November 8th. They should be here by Thanksgiving break. Your books and senior ads are on sale now. Your books are $70 and senior ads come in different sizes. Go to yearbookforever.com to purchase. Jero TC is hosting a trunk or treat on Saturday from 4 to 6 in the front parking lot. We have some other clubs joining us as well. If your club would like to join us in passing out candy, contact Mr. McComas. All students that participate in this event get community service hours. Tryouts for the boys basketball team will be Monday, November 1st at 6.30 a.m. in the main gym. Students must have a physical form from May through October of 2021 in order to try out. If you come to tryouts with the proof of a physical, you will not be allowed to try out. If you have any questions, please see Coach McDowell. Wrestling practice officially will start next Monday at 3.50 to 5.30. Please have physicals before then. Earlier this week, the hockey team won 11-0 against Smyrna. Ashton Perry received player of the game. The next game is November 1st at 8.25 p.m. at Ford Ice in Bellevue against Pope John Paul II. Our 8-1 varsity football team travels to Warren, Warren County this Friday for the last game of the season. That's all the news we have, LHS. I'm Eli Hodge. And I'm Abby Gibson. This has been the news to you from the white and blue.